We're very honored to have with us the greatest boxer in San Diego history. His name is Archie Moore, of course. Light heavyweight champion, 1951 through 62. More than 225 recorded fights, but he had more fights than that. The most KOs, according to the Book of Records, 146 knockouts in his fights. Founder of Any Boy Can, and we'll talk about that, a wonderful thing in this community, in all communities. Member of the Hall of Champions, Hall of Fame, trained Nigerian Olympians, and he also trained a lot of top boxers like Muhammad Ali, and we'll talk about Ali, we'll talk about Tyson and many other people here on the heart of San Diego. When did you think you wanted to become a boxer? When you were growing up in St. Louis and messing around with other kids, did you like? Oh, the yes. Oh, yes. I used to read in the papers, in the newspapers, uh, the reports on Kid Chocolate especially was my favorite. Well, one thing, because it was candy, he was sweet, you know, I thought it was. Uh, Kid Chocolate was a beautiful name, and I was wondering what could I name myself, you know, and I would uh, be similar to Kid Chocolate, but I wouldn't use his name because it would be two Kid Chocolates. What did you finally call yourself when you started the box? When did I you have a nickname? No, I didn't, but later on someone gave me the name of Mongoose uh, after I turned professional. Was that Jack Murphy or was that someone else? Murphy. I think it was Murphy. Uh, and uh, the mongoose is the killer of snakes. And uh, <laughs> Archie Moore faces Yvonne Durrell for the second time in the return bout that everyone in the boxing world wants to see. Montreal, the 12th of August, 1959. Archie Moore, world light heavyweight champion, in black trunks. Yvonne Durrell, challenger, is wearing white. Two ripping punchers going right out after each other. Archie Moore knows Yvonne Durrell carries dynamite in that right hand. He remembers their first fight when Durrell had him down four times. Archie began his professional career in 1936, 23 years ago. Archie holds the all-time record for knockouts with 132 KOs. The record was formerly held by the great young Stribling. Stribling had 126 knockouts to his credit. Yvonne Durrell throwing punches here in round one. Durrell is the Canadian light heavyweight champion. throwing bombs here in the first round. There's no feeling out in there. In their first meeting in December of 1958, nine months ago, Archie came storming back from four knockdowns to score a spectacular 11th round knockout over Yvonne Durrell. Beginning of the year, Archie has had one fight. In March, five months ago, Archie KO'd Sterling Davis in the third round. Moore using that sharp left jab. And there's the end of round one. Who was the hardest hitter that you ever faced? 
Was it Rocky Marciano? You told me once when you raised your arms and he hit your arms, your arms began to hurt. Well, Marciano was one of the hardest punches that I fought. Uh, Yvonne Durrell was another hard puncher. Moore walking slowly to his corner. Here in round two, both fighters going out after each other. Yvonne Durrell has been boxing professionally since 1948, 11 years ago. Yvonne is a veteran of 86 fights and is a rough customer in the ring. Moore using that crisp, sharp left jab. Coming on strong here in round two. Moore, a very accurate puncher. There is nothing tentative about Yvonne Durrell. He throws bombs in there. A good left by Archie Moore. Archie forcing the action here in round two. Referee Jack Sharkey, former world heavyweight champion, separates the two fighters. Crushing combinations by Yvonne Durrell. Durrell loves to stay in close. Moore covers up. Blistering punches by champion Archie Moore. Durrell comes fighting right back. a marvelous round two scored for Archie Moore when did you think you could, you could be the light heavyweight champion who did uh, you beat when you finally said you know I, I can go all the way with this mm -hmm. the uh, light heavyweight championship was held by Joey Maxim at the time uh, that Late I, 40s, 1950, yes. right around that time. And uh, I thought that I could beat uh, Joey Maxim. Joey Maxim was a very clever boxer. He was tough. He was game. He was not the puncher that I was. And uh, I thought that if I would condition myself so I could fight three minutes around, I could wear him down and beat him. And this is what I did. And I had seen Henry Armstrong do this, uh, wear men out uh, until they just collapse from, from sheer fatigue. Archie, where did you get your punching power? You had great <laughs> leverage, great timing, and you, I think you knew where to hit someone. Yes. To take them out. You have to learn the, the particular spots uh, to strike a person. Uh, you have to hit them where it will actually hurt them. Hit them under the heart, hit them on the tip of the chin, which will rattle nerves. <laughs> hit them in the solar plexus, in the stomach. Which paralyzes the breathing practice. That's right. It cuts off the breathing. Moore moves out for round three. 
Archie said before the fight that he wouldn't let it go the 15 round distance. A blistering right by Archie Moore. Durrell is in trouble. Archie Moore going after Yvonne Durrell. Ripping punches, hurt Yvonne. Moore pot shotting Durrell. Tremendous combinations by Archie Moore. And Durrell goes down. Referee Jack Sharkey picks up the count. Yvonne Durrell up at the count of nine. Archie Moore moves in to finish it. It's all Moore. Durrell fights back courageously. Bombing right hands by Archie Moore. Durrell goes reeling backwards. Jack Sharkey motions Archie Moore to a neutral corner. Durrell is up again at the count of nine. Yvonne is very hurt. It's all Archie Moore. Moore is looking to finish it here in the third round. by Archie Moore sends Durrell reeling and Durrell is down for the third time he's up at the count of seven and Archie Moore moves in once again Durrell is down for the fourth time Jack Sharkey screaming out the count it's all over let's watch that final knockdown in slow motion Moore comes in. He knows Durrell is very hurt. A crisp left by Archie Moore. Followed by a hard right. Durrell is down for the fourth and final time. Jack Sharkey motions Archie Moore to a neutral corner and yells out the count at Yvonne Durrell. Yvonne desperately tries to clear his head and shake some life into those legs. But the champion's punches took their toll as Durrell is counted out. Archie Moore scores another crushing knockout as he adds to his record as boxing's all-time knockout artist. Archie gallantly goes over to the down Durrell to see if he is all right and helps Yvonne to his feet. Ageless Archie Moore at 43 retains the World Light Heavyweight Championship with a convincing third round KO over a very tough Yvonne Durrell. The question now is, will old Archie Moore ever stop amazing the boxing world with what appears to be his eternal youth? Archie, I've got to ask you, what do you believe in? What's important to you? What did you guide your life by? Well, uh... I had an auntie who raised me, Mrs. Willie P. Moore, Willie Pearl Moore, and we were like mother and son, and she gave me a little poem that I always go by, even to this day. It goes like this, when a task is once begun, Never leave it until it's done. If the labor is great or small, do it well or not at all. <laughs>